the people I'm meeting as well. Oh, by King Deshret's blessing, my friend suddenly appears in the desert. <laughs> Don't tell me you've run into trouble and need us to help now. Roman! And, huh? Sitaria? Oh, you know me? Oh, well, uh, you're pretty famous in the academia. Don't worry, these are our friends. No need to be so guarded. I see. I'm doing well. Many good things have happened recently. Same here. Really, I feel that my whole life has started to shine after suddenly finding a new direction. Oh, tell us everything! Yeah, you go ahead. Alright, well, I suppose I should start by saying... I've decided to leave the Academia. What? It's not that I've given up on being a scholar. Instead, you could say I've found a new identity. I will no longer pursue research like a typical scholar, but I have not completely given up on my relationship to knowledge either. <laughs> I can see what you're saying now. Uh, what do you mean? I plan to leave the Academia and return to teach here in the desert. Wow, so you want to become a teacher? Sitaria will return to support education here and teach people from the desert. She can't teach everyone on her own, but there are many of us Eremites all over Sumeru. She came to discuss a collaboration with me and hoped that I could bring her ideas to the Eremites. Yes. It's my hope that the Eremites can help me select a group of smart people with the best aptitude for teaching. I'll teach them, and after they've finished learning from me, they can go educate more people. That is the true meaning of education and the spreading of knowledge. The people of King Deshret suffer from sandstorms, exile, and ignorance. Miss Ataria is more than welcome to come teach here. Her arrival is like a star shining in the desert night. The stars have always guided caravans, thieves, soldiers, and travelers who get lost in the night. They lead those in the dark out of trouble and back to safety. Oh, please. Where is all of this coming from? I'm starting to feel a little embarrassed. You deserve these compliments. Mercenaries are accustomed to danger and don't fear death, which is why we recognize extraordinary actions the common people would easily overlook. Setaria's idea will bring much good to many people. At first, I feared it was destined to fail. Everyone knows that the Academia doesn't allow scholars to teach in the desert without permission. As you know, all knowledge is under their surveillance and control, and very few desert dwellers are as lucky as me. But what I heard at that time has been haunting my heart, as if there were lightning bolts constantly bombarding my soul. Sataria, you tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the Academia's grasp on you will become. Sataria, why haven't you gone home? Never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. Miss. These words sparked something in me, and I knew that I had to bring something back to my people after going home. I gathered up the courage to approach the Grand Sage, only to find that he was no longer at the Academia. Lord Sino told me that Azar didn't belong there anymore. Azar has received much needed punishment. Though, if you ask me, it may have been too light. <sighs> you probably have already heard. Lord Sino helped me obtain permission to leave the Academia for the desert and accompanied me here to discuss collaboration with members of the Eremites. My plan was able to go smoothly thanks to him and Ramon. You're all doing so much for the desert! Aside from that, I also have some other business to discuss with Sino. Lesser Lord Kusanali has allocated many resources to support and develop the desert. I've done some business for her, and part of it required the assistance of the Eremites. I applied for a few batches of educational materials from the Academia, and sent them to several groups in the desert, as instructed by Lesser Lord Kusanali. I believe the people will make good use of them. 
That's exactly what the people here need. Physical books and other related items. If it weren't for Sino and Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'm afraid we'd never be able to get our hands on them. Apart from this, the Academia is also recruiting scholars that are willing to teach in the desert. I'll let you and Satarian know as soon as I have any more news. We must be persistent about this, and maintain these resources to ensure long-term effectiveness. This is the first time in hundreds of years we've had a glimmer of hope. I think this may be the turning point for the desert. Remember these words. Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. I hope people with wisdom like that priest will rise again among the desert dwellers. Then we'll once again see the wisdom and glory that once shook the world. Enough about us. Are you here to discuss some business too? No, not at all. We're actually here on behalf of Nilu. Nilu wanted to write to everyone, but she wasn't sure where the letters should be sent, so she asked us to come find everyone personally. A celebration feast will be held in two days at the Grand Bazaar. She hopes that all of you will be able to attend. At the feast, we'll also be celebrating Sino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. Uh, although, judging from your appearance, it seems you've already been reinstated. Paimon thought you would only start working for the Academia after the feast. Celebration? Feast? It's the first I've heard of it. Tainari was right. She really didn't know. <laughs> this feast is for you, Sino. Sounds to me like you'll have to be there. <sighs> it's rare to see that kind of expression from Lord Sino. You must not like feasts very much. No, not really. But I'll go. Well, I still have a lot to handle here. Besides, I need to look after Miss Sataria in the desert, so I'll have to pass. I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. Although, if you'd be so kind, please give a message to Miss Nilu for me. The message is... I'm sorry for how I treated you before, but now I understand the beauty of your dance. It's like a light shining in the sky. You and the art you symbolize are not only beautiful, but also lively and powerful, so much so that it was prohibited. Please keep dancing, and someday I'll be able to appreciate your art in person. Okay, we've got all that down! Our job here is complete as well! Oh, Sino, remember, party's in two days! Make sure you're there! Got it.